Hello everybody. Um, I have another unboxing. This one is from Waco, Texas. Well, it said initially it was from Hewitt, Texas, but it shipped out of Waco, Texas. So this is the part of the the three blue boxes I got, and this is the second one. So I opened it. I haven't dug into it. So let's see what we find. Look at this brooch. This is cool. This is a big one. Look how big that is. So I'm just going to start. Um, I'm just going to start pulling pieces of what I feel. Actually, I'll put it on the side right here. So we have this brooch. Get that out of the way. Let's see here. Um, I might be uploading this on Christmas Day. So Merry Christmas to everybody. What is going on here? Hmm. This is real. This isn't sticking. This is really solid. And I don't see any markings. That would be cool if it was silver. It has a lot of weight to it. Okay, so then here we have just like a shell, I guess, bracelet. It's very tight. It's a little dirty. Um, let me see here. I think this is part of a set. Um, I'm trying to get it out. So it looks like I'm seeing a lot of shell. This is actually kind of cool. I mean, I see shell uh, jewelry a lot, a dime a dozen, but this set is actually pretty cool. Yeah, and I like I like that center stone. From far away, I thought it was an eye, and then it has the matching bracelet. But I just like the necklace. That's 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 really cool. Okay, so what in the world? Whoa. Oh my god. Okay, guys. Uh This is definitely This is definitely one of the bigger um bracelets, clamp bracelets I've ever seen. And it does have missing stones unfortunately, but look at this one. This this is a big one. It's very, very cute. There's no... Oh, it says Natasha inside. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. That's a statement bracelet, if I do say so myself. It does have some missing ABs. Which I do have that to replace, but then it has these like teardrop ones that are missing. So I don't know. That's so cool. Okay. Okay. So um I don't know, Texas. Yeah, this one's a is is showing up as a good lot so far. Let's see here. Um Okay, so I'm trying to get, uh, this is, okay, so here we have an X bracelet, but it has like this clasp on it, and, oh, okay, I get it now. So I don't think this is silver, but it has a really cool, I don't think I've come across one like this recently. Um, I don't know. We could test that. I just pulled this out right here. This is, I don't know, this lot looks like it's turning out to be pretty good. We just have a single pendant. And... I'm 
trying to see if there's any. Yeah, that's that's not silver. Here we have a stretchy. I'm trying to see if this is like cinnabar. It's not. It's like glass. Well, I don't know. Yeah, it's glass. Okay. Here we have a cool... It's a pen and a pendant. And it says... Uh, I can't read the, the bottom. But it has a lot of weight to it. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm liking this lot so far. B E. Um. Best. Maybe the other person had friend. I'm not 100% sure, but that is a really cute piece. So, depending on how long this video goes, I might have to split it up again into two. But I'm going to stop at the 30 minute mark. And then that way, this is really cool. This kind of reminds me of Brighton, but I don't know. Stainless steel. Japan movement. Oh no, it says made in China. What does it say? It just says CC. But it's really cute. I'm wow. Th these are like unique pieces. So I'm pretty sure. The rest of the lot is going to be um, hopefully good like this. Okay, there's a lot of tangles, folks. So, um, just bear with me. Here's that. Here's this. Oh, we have an earring that's matching that other set. Oh, wow. They had the whole set going on for that necklace. I think that was part of... Okay. Um, This is all tangled right here, but this looks interesting. So, okay. So here we have a choker style. A choker style. I know there's a name for this. I don't know it though. Um, necklace. It has a little wear. There's some vertigrees right there. But it's it's actually cute. Here we have a flower necklace. And this has a tag. This is Claire's. So I pulled this out. Oh my god, this is a hot mess right here. I wanted to see. Well, not that, but I wanted to see this right here. Is this does this come apart? This is very interesting. It's dainty, but here's a pair. Yeah, it's not gold. But the little set together, it's very, very cute. And then this is a big, this is a, a bullet, piece of a bullet with a crystal. And this is just really bad. This is not going to, yeah, this is bad. It's all tangled up. That's not nothing. So, okay, let's see here. Mm. 
Okay. Hmm. This looks like listener or true. Mm. Let's see if there's a maker's mark on here. No, there isn't. But there is one piece missing. Maybe um, in the lot I could find the missing piece. I like the detail though, how it like goes all the way up, even though they're little flowers. So hopefully I could find the missing cabochon. So here we have just like a bronze type of necklace, but it's there's a lot of wear on it. And I actually had one like this, but with black little beads. And I don't know if I still have it or if I sold it. Is this Monet? I think this is Monet. Um, no, probably not with the clasp like that. Monet is, um, <clears throat> Monet has quality clasp on her pieces. So then we have this necklace and it says nothing to prove. I don't see any markings on it and it sticks. Oh, this is a single earring. Well, that's kind of cute. And then here we have a clip. Oh no, it's not a clip. It fell off. Hmm. That was part of something. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. I'm trying to see what I can pull out. Everything is just like in massive tangles. Oh my god. Oh wait, I see something shiny at the bottom. Woohoo! Thank you. I'll take that, please. Yes. Okay. Here's a watch. This is a very, very cool necklace yeah I'm just trying to I'm just trying to pull out whatever's loose oh my god this one's oh is that the color or is no I think it just turned that way that's really bad condition <clears throat> Okay, this is really bad. It's just like one big seaweed. So I'm just gonna have to pull what I could get out of it. So look at this beautiful little girl. Oh my God. And all the stones look to be there. Is this marked? Oh, this is old. Oh yeah, baby. This is old. 50s, 60s, maybe 40s. I know, I just said three decades, but these were really big in the 50s. And they were produced late 40s up into the 60s. So, oh, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. That's, that's a keeper. So this is interesting. Let's see here. It does have some wear on it. But we have the gold tone with the green. And these are magnetic. That's cute. Here we have a watch. Some stones are missing. Um, who's this? This is a citizen watch. 
So it's probably came from the same household. Okay. Um, oh, wow. I have this, but it's a hot mess. Um, I think I found another pin, but it's it's tangled up with hair and stuff. Oh my goodness. So this was exposed to like, it's just really bad. Oh my god, it, I, it feels like, it's so hard, it feels like it's about to just like break off the, look at the hair, oh god, okay, I'm a, oh god, um, I'm trying to get it through without breaking it, it did, the hardware feels like so, it's not rusty, but it feels so tight that it's about to just crack off. So, okay. Um Okay, I'm trying to get this little this little piece off, but here's another beautiful red marquee red circular um stones with the red AB. And I actually need some of these marquees, but they're too big for that Trafari Contessa necklace that I have to replace. So I have to work at getting this jump ring off it's it's really bad the, the... okay so here we have let me just pull some stuff out Definitely some interesting pieces in here. Oh, this one's a big one. Is this J. Crew? All right. Well, you know what? I like this lot. So let me let me work at one thing at a time. So I pulled this out, and this looks like it just completely. Yeah, it was a cross, a really pretty cross. Um. It says something on the chain right there. Probably the brand. It says... Napier. Yeah, it's Napier. So, this chain, it looks... To be decent, I think there's maybe a few spots of where, but it's it's a nice thick one, and I'll just take the cross off. Unfortunately, it got twisted, and I don't know if the pressure of the box made it like this or it was already like this. And the stuff didn't come in a bag. It was as you seen when I opened it. Well, it was already open, but it was all exposed, so that's unfortunate. Then we have this bracelet. This is interesting. I feel like something was right there. I don't know. Look at the work. Look at this is so pretty though. And who is this? It does have a lot of wear right here, but this part is still in good condition. This is so pretty. I feel like a stone was right there or maybe it was holding like, I don't know. I wonder if it's, I think I have to test. I don't think this is gold. Maybe gold filled. I don't know, but 
that would look cute right like that on a as a pendant unfortunately I wonder what this was I'm just so curious see I like interesting pieces like this yeah huh and here we have a little reindeer pen here we have a belt buckle this is heavy usually they're like alpaca has some stones and then here we have this big long chain and it says oh it's Ralph Lauren chops I thought it was gonna say J crew it's still a nice piece it's still a very nice piece and it's it's in good condition so I'm happy with this lot I mean the rest to be honest with you looks like a hot mess um, there's a watch with a sticker on it that they were trying to sell Um, maybe this is Brighton. Okay, so this looks like Brighton or a reproduction of Brighton. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for that intermission. But <clears throat> what I wanted to do was untangle what was in the box and show you guys what I got out of it um I'm just gonna show you the pieces so I'm gonna move this stuff out there was this I don't know if it's a belt it has like three knots in it Okay, there's one right there there's another one it looks like it, it comes from one of those curtains from the 60s but I don't know if, if it's just it goes over the neck and then you could like tie it into like a to something or it's a belt I don't know but I, to be honest with you I don't even know why they threw that in there I guess it's good for crafters repurposing but that took up a lot um, and then there was this necklace. So this is Liz Claiborne, I believe. Yeah, this is Liz Claiborne. Very nice two-tone gold silver. I mean, it's nice, you know. Um, here's another gold chain. Um, this looks like those chains from the purses, though. No maker's mark on that one. Then we have this silver necklace. And it there's no maker's mark. All the stones are there. So this one's kind of cute. We have just like your basic costume. This is very light, like. This is light, lighter than plastic. We have a brooch. It's missing one. Pearl. And I don't believe there is a maker's mark. No. <clears throat> Here's another gold chain. And this one is marked Monet. So remember I was talking about how Monet always has those cool clasps. There's one right there. Here we have a cat eye butterfly. This looks like it was probably to a young girl. So this is all the stuff that I detangled. Um, here's another necklace. No maker's mark. It's a really, really pretty ornate design. Here is just like a, a glass beaded 
necklace and this magnet. Here we have another necklace and did this one have anything on it? I don't believe so. It's a cross, marcosite. So there was a lot of necklaces, like um, thin metal necklaces, nothing high silver. Look at this one. This one I really, really like. It's not as long as a flapper necklace, but isn't this cool? And there's no maker's mark, so I don't know. It might be Monet. It might be Napier. Um, there's a lot of that. those name brands in this box. Um, Just a basic. I can't even. I think this is a gold tone necklace. Cat eye bracelet. This one has some stones missing. It's on a rope. Um, it the box the lot started out really really good and then um, it just kind of took a little, a little bit of a nose dive. But there's still like there's there's these pieces that are you know, cool. So, I like this design. I probably wouldn't want it on the rope. Let me see here. So, it has a toggle. This is all mixed up. Okay. I don't know. But I like the filigree work on this. This is more my style. And it's like on a brass finish. Then we have um, just like a gold chain. So this one was interesting. This one was probably one of my favorite pieces. I tried to see if this was handmade. If it was, they did a really good job. You know what? Okay. I'm trying to see if the sirens are going to go away. There's sirens outside. So, this looks like, possibly like it was handmade, but, I mean, the workmanship is really, really good. You have, like, hinges on both sides, so I'm not too... If somebody had made this, they did a really, really exceptional job. But if not, there's no maker's mark. This one I liked. It's just different. It looks like there's little... Um, clip-on earrings as a necklace so this one's really cute this is one of my favorite pieces oh and then i like this one look at the look at the pendant this one's really really cute okay i'm gonna pause you guys because these sirens are not stopping okay i think it's calmed down now or they got to their destination so yeah so we have this necklace and i really like the pendant it just gives me like a victorian fill and it's on a gold chain here we have a memory this is very very tiny for a tiny wrist but what i like about this one it has tassels this one's different i haven't seen one with tassels so this has to go on a small wrist. We have an eyeglass chain. So I thought at first it was Brighton, but it's just just a regular eyeglass chain. Then I got these. I believe these are are these Monet. Well, I knew the brand earlier, and now I can't read it. No, this is Napier. They're both Napier. Wait a minute. Or is this... Yeah, they're both Napier. And um, they're just like, you know... Um, 
silver tone and gold tone um, pearl shape. Okay, that's really small. But I got that. I got this cool, like, Dalmatian stone necklace. That one's cool. And I got this bracelet. This is, like, really, really light. It's just, like, it's plasticky. Like, it just looks like one little tug and it's going to snap. And then there was this handmade um, necklace, and it's a tooth of of some sort. I don't know what it is. This might have some miss. I think this has a missing bead. It looks like I actually don't really know what's going on with this piece and then we're down to the wire folks so let's see here I thought at first this was Brighton but it's not um but I like this um I don't like the the rope chain it could always be changed but look at how cool this is it has an elephant don't know what this is depicting and this is depicting kind of like a warrior maybe so it's like an Indian style and I don't know if where's my magnet it's not I'm not sure if it's silver it might be but these are really really cool this is like right up my alley of what i look for in jewelry as well <clears throat> this looks like one good stretch and it's about to bust so this would go good for crafters here's another faux pearl necklace i got one earlier i got two of them now Okay, so this is a very dainty necklace. And it just has like a single tassel. Kind of reminds me of the 1928 brand. It is not silver. It is sticking. But it's cute. And... Let me see here. I have... <clears throat> Oh, this is Charm and Charlie. I actually am surprised that this is Charm and Charlie um, because, okay, this is Tangled, I think. I'm surprised. That this was Charm and Charlie. Just the way the design is set up. And that's different. And then I just had like a few pieces of like single earrings. Which I do have this one. I want, I want to find it. It's, well wait a minute. Is it broken? I think it's broken. It is. But I would have wanted to find its matching mate. This one's really cool for a screw back. And then here, look at we have the earrings together. This does remind me of Brighton, the two-tone. But, yeah, it's not silver. So I'm glad that those were paired up. We just have like a gold, oops, a hoop. And then this one... Which is different as well. So, um, the lot was okay. I mean, for 30 bucks, it's like, you know, what do you, you know, you can't get cream of the crop all the time. But 
I'm gonna go over my favorite pieces, of course, my brooch. I actually do like this green and gold. I'm, I love pairing up green and gold. It's just so beautiful. This actually was interesting, this Dalmatian stone. And I really, I don't like this necklace rope part, but I do, I do like these. These are so cool. Look at that. There's something going on there. The elephant. So, and then two more pieces, actually. I have a lot of favorites in this one. This one right here, where it looks like they put clip-on earrings. It's just different. And then, of course, this beautiful um bracelet it is missing stones but oh it's it's just so great i mean it's great i haven't come across one like this this is also what weighed down the box this one's really really heavy but that's pretty much it what's left is this and this is all knotted like really really bad oh wait, wait i already showed you guys this it's this down below here this is like this is gonna take me hours i try to get the best there's like i mean this is gonna take yeah so another day for that but um thanks for um making it this far in the video oh you know what i need to add something i do like this one this two-tone right here this one's a nice piece but if you guys watch this on christmas hopefully i get to upload it merry christmas you guys stay safe out there um and um don't forget to subscribe right here if you're new we are on the road to 1000 i am doing a giveaway at 1000 subscribers and you guys just have a very calm cozy beautiful holiday this is soho california vintage signing off